Welcome to EDC Ideas. Let's start with 10 EDC tips for beginners. The first tip, you already carry an EDC. Maybe you carry a wallet or for example a smartphone or your keychain. That's a great base to upgrade your EDC kit. The second tip is, you don't have to spend money to start with the EDC hobby. Check out your house, your boxes or your toolbox and you find a lot of useful items for the EDC world. You have a great chance uh, to find a simple but useful pocket knife. For example, um, this Opinel version, it's an Opinel with a carbon steel blade or a simple pocket knife like this. It's a very common pocket knife design here in Germany. It's a backlog design from Herberts. You don't have to start this hobby with an expensive Maxpedition organizer. I really like the Maxpedition stuff, but maybe you find um, a simple hip bag and this would be a great first pouch for your EDC. Maybe um, you find it during the searching process an old pouch of a digital camera that would be also a great start into the EDC pouch world. When you have a roll of duct tape in your toolbox, um, you can take some pieces of duct tape, wrap it around a card like this and you have your first little maintenance kit. Maybe you will find um, an unused first aid kit. You can upgrade this first aid kit with some bandages or some plasters and you have a great start as a first aid kit and you can carry this one in your pockets or in your backpack. Check out some writing options, for example a simple pen or maybe you have a sharpie or another permanent marker and that would be a great choice as your first EDC pen. And when you find um, a little flashlight, this is a more high quality one from Phoenix. you have a perfect set to start the EDC world and you can try out this amazing hobby. And when you don't have the perfect EDC kit, you have to improve your skills and you have to improvise. That's in my opinion a very important and underrated point in this amazing hobby and that's the reason why MacGyver is a legend. You can build up your skills with a simple set, for example when it comes to knife sharpening or knife maintenance. In my opinion it's um, a very very hard thing when you have a pocket knife um, for 200 euros or more but you can't sharpen this knife or you can't maintain this knife. Yes and this is my next tip, try out the hobby and try out if you are comfortable with carry some stuff with you, maybe you don't like it, maybe you like it and so you can decide if this hobby fits for you. Maybe you can try out different options if you like more the heavy duty stuff like this pocket knife here or maybe you like the lightweight knife cutting options like this Opinel. You can spend a lot of money in lightweight EDC knives or heavy duty knives. For example 200 euros are no problem but you can make the decision what's the perfect knife for you. Focus on the basics. Um, carry extra cash in your money, carry for example tissues, carry a bubble gum, carry a small first aid kit and a little maintenance kit and um, these items um, are way more important than carry a knife for 200 or more euros. And maybe a little flashlight solves more serious problems than a high quality knife. Another idea is carry for example um, this little flashlight uh, power bank combination, it's the Fenix eSpark because when your smartphone is running out of power um, it would be uh, very difficult to survive in the urban jungle. The next tip is get inspiration here on YouTube. The community is amazing and there is a lot of cool inspiration on different channels and in different videos. But it's not only the inspiration when it comes to tools, to different sets, to different pouches, um, when the community talks about the perfect EDC flashlight. Um, there are also a lot of excellent reviews when it comes to advantages and disadvantages, when it comes to pro and cons of different tools. A good example is the Leatherman Rebar. The Leatherman Rebar is a very popular multi-tool here on YouTube and you find details, reviews 
and you find details reviews when it comes to the price performance ratio so you can get a lot of information um, when it comes to the different tools pouches and flashlights and you will get a lot of inspirations um, when it comes to different sets um, there are sets for the pockets there are sets for an edc organizer like this expedition and you find a lot of cool videos when it comes to bug out bags and so on when you have decided to go deeper into this cool hobby then my next tip is buy once cry once i always try to buy high quality stuff because um, the stuff will work when you need it and the next point is the high quality stuff will last a lifetime you can buy a multi-tool for 20 euro or 20 dollars but um, you can also buy a multi-tool for more than 100 euros or more than 100 dollars and i always prefer to buy the best quality for the money when you have high quality tools or when you have a high quality first aid kit you can trust in your gear and that's important when it comes to an edc or survival situation a high quality flashlight is always useful because you want to trust into this flashlight when it comes to rainy and dark weather conditions and a high quality light will always bring a, a little bit of brightness into the darkness same when it comes to the keychain tools um, the keychain tools from victorinox are always a great choice i talked about this little duo before i think it's always useful to carry a small maintenance kit with you and it's also useful to carry a great high quality and functional first aid kit in your edc this duo will solve a lot of problems and maybe more problems as a standard pocket knife and the next tip are some items um, i always carry in my basic setup that's a high quality multi-tool that's um, a little pocket knife this is a victorinox classic on my keychain and i love to carry a high quality flashlight i also love to carry some extra cash in my wallet and i like to carry a pack of bubble gums and tissues as i mentioned before the edc community talks a lot about products the products are really cool and there are a lot of variations but in my opinion when it comes to an edc the mindset and the skills are very important too. There are always new skills to learn, for example, first aid skills, or for example, the amazing lock picking hobby. When you find the perfect combination of tools, skills and mindset, you are prepared for different situations and that what's the focus and that's what the core of EDC means. Last but not least, um, use your stuff the edc stuff um, is not for the display it's for the pockets it's for the usage and um, you see this opinel with a carbon steel blade um, i've broken the tip because i've used it yes my conclusion is have fun uh, with the products have fun with the community um, the greatest tool on the table um, don't make the edc perfect in my opinion the community is the main part that makes this hobby more perfect than any tool can do and i have to thank the community for all the amazing comments and for the time you spent uh, during you watch my videos um, i really really appreciate that and have a great evening and have fun with your edc test your stuff and you will get better step by step